it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming the first part of my haul. All the shops will be linked down below and timestamps as well if you're not interested in some of the shops. Um, but yeah, I have some stuff into my... Sorry if there's a weird edit here but I just showed my address. But I have some stuff that came into my finished address, my home address. So I thought I would haul those so I can start getting... Start putting them away and using them. And the rest will come right after. So enjoy and don't forget to like and subscribe. So the first thing I wanted to haul, um, which flashed my address on the front, was this. Um, I decided to become a Patreon of one of my favorite artists, Sonia Stegerman. She is a German artist and I've hauled her before, in probably in the last haul. But so I joined her Patreon because at a certain tier level you can get this sort of a sticker stationery pack sent to you each month for her like monthly theme. And I got my first month for last month and look at the beautiful wax seal. It's gonna focus. It's got glitter in it. And it is a beautiful like astronomy design. I believe the theme was astronomy. So I need to like open this without destroying the um, the wax seal. Uh, I think I can just get the um, I can just open the envelope without it. So let's open her up. Oh look how beautiful that is on the inside. Shiny gold. I have to try and like save this, um, I might cut this out because it's beautiful and I love wax seals. So this is a little package, a cute little washi tape here. Can't wait to open it. So this is just like the lower tier of getting goodies. She now does a box for a bit more, but if you get the box you get like whole washi tapes and stuff, but I don't need all that stuff every month. And you'll see um, that we get a sample of most of the stuff from the box. So, here's the lovely little package. First we have this sticker, and a shiny metallic sticker of a really pretty astronomy kind of girl, you can see in her hair, holding some flowers, love that. And we get some washi samples, so these are like the um, washies that she had made. So this cute little stamp washi, you can see there, really cute and then some like um, those kind of washies there, cute, probably only need samples of that. Then we have some um, stamps and the foiled and premium matte stamp stickers I should say, so pretty. This one was actually on the front of that envelope as well as an actual um, shipping label. So pretty. I love it. And then we got some a sample of the notepad. The, you get a full notepad if you got the box. But this is really cute too. And then we got a sheet of the um, astrology, astronomy astrology stickers. Really cool. I love this girl here. So pretty. And then we got an E6 postcard of this girl here and I love this stripe of light on her face. Oh, it's a postcard. But yeah. Really, really cute. So happy I am um, a Patreon, a patron of hers. These are just so beautiful. And um, she does actually do like a monthly drawing challenge for her Patreons and if you um, show it on the, the Patreon Discord, you actually get an extra sticker in your um, subscription um, thing, I guess a subscription. So I actually did the one for this month, so hopefully when that one c gets shipped out, I get the extra sticker, but I love this nonetheless. Really, really cute. So it's Astronomy Academia was it, <laughs> was the theme. That was from Sonia Stegerman. And next I have an order here from Happy Dyer. I haven't ordered her for a long time. I know she has a lot of good like um, 
fruit stickers and stuff, so that's what I ordered. So it came in this really cute cardboard. Um, so to keep it straight, and it came with a free washi tape, which just has little animals, animal faces, really cute. The thing is, I used to have like tons of Happy Day stickers, but I, I feel like they hit or miss um, style-wise in my planner, just because she tends to use brown outlines, and that doesn't always work for me. Like I don't know, aesthetically, it doesn't always fit. So I did get some because um, I was going to get some Asian food stickers from, um, what's that name? But anyway, she's closed at the moment because she's doing her masters, but. Um, so I thought I'd give Happy Day another go and I actually re-bought a few stickers that I had de years ago. <laughs> um, and I got them all in the smallest size, but they're not always, they're not all super small, which is kind of annoying, but. Um, for my order, I got the little March calendar, super cute, it's like St. Patrick's Day and the Year of the Ox. And then you get a bunch of freebie stickers, these are obviously all related to Year of the Ox. Um, so they've all got the, like the cute little cow ox dude doing different stuff on little milk sheets, really cute. And then you have like a New Year one freebie there and that was this freebie of um foiled ones so this is stay calm start your day with a smile positive vibes so really pretty and just yeah premium matte and then these are the ones that i ordered i obviously i picked up the burger set uh because it's super cute it's like a little penguin face in the burger um, because I like burgers. See the difference that these are both the small size, but you can see the size difference on the sheets, which is... Mm, I'd much prefer if these were this size. These are a good size, but this is really big. Especially um, just for marking Bon Me, but there's a Bon Me. You can see how it's like, it's just a lot warmer with the brown outline. Then we have, oh, this one is... It tom yum because that's pad thai. You see, I feel like it's a lot darker in person than it was online, and it won't go with most of my spreads to be honest. But I have so much pad, I have so much um, pho that I wanted to get it. So, did I say what did I say before? Pho. Um, this is a different soup, which is like there's the blue in it to make it a bit different. This one I could probably use, although there's a very bright red napkin. This was, um, <sighs> I think she listed it as shawarma or something, but I thought I could use it for like falafels, so falafels or um, gyros or anything like that. Then we have the fish and chips one, which I used to have the medium size of this, and they were more like the size of this bad me. So I don't know why the bad me is so big. And the far is really big too, compared to like that. I don't know. That always put me off in these stickers. I mean, they're beautiful, obviously, but um, they're not like 100%, you know? We got ramen, uh, we got grilled cheese, and again, another really big one. We got um, curry, Indian. And then this is like a redraw that she's a newer one. So I feel like these are like, because I had these years ago. So it's like her new style is a bit lighter, softer. I don't know. Uh, but these are pancakes and they're really beautiful. I really love those. So that was my order from Happy Day. I don't want to be like super <laughs> critical. I still love her stickers. There's just, I don't know, just little things that don't make them perfect for my kind of planning so that's just that but at least I have some of these food stickers now I have an order in it from Paper Shire the part one of her like TV release TV movie release so we did get this A5 um, uh, journaling card cultivate your garden she says to me <laughs> really really cute and then here is my order. Let us open. Um, so this 
So the little card we got with this one is an Easter one with the egg. Really cute. And obviously you can put stuff on the back. And I made sure to remember to put in the Facebook freebie for March. So this is the Facebook freebie. If you join her Facebook group, there is a code name, you can like word you can put in your notes to sell and they change up. So you can't always use the same one. To get the freebie for Facebook and you get some like eating crisps, eating peanut butter, like um, the get to work, um, women can do it kind of thing. Waffles, that one's really cute. And like cereal and then you have like a movie night and pizza and just some different boxes, real cute. And then the all orders freebie were these um, boxes. I love these. I love this one with the grid and the dangly stars. And then I got 15 pound order freebie which had some burgers, some burritos, sandwiches with a soda, um, like, a, a sa like a sandwich, a sub. Eggs and more burgers will be perfect. I'll go into my food thing. Um, but so, here's the ones that I ordered. I got her sheet of The Witcher, which she did based on the games, not the show, because the games are like further in the future and the show is like set in the past. So you have like adult Siri. She turns into a total badass, by the way, <laughs> if you wanted to know. And then you have Triss and Yennefer and obviously Geralt and what's his name? What's his name? He's turning up in the next season. But anyway, I picked these up for the next season and also because I'm going to be drawing Witcher art for art sets, art kit, uh, for sticker kits. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I had these, especially for the week that I use a Witcher kit. Then we have Shit's Creek. Obviously, everyone loves it. I've been watching it since um, the, big, the start of season two, so been around for a while. And I've loved it for a long time. Um, but it's nice to get, see it have recognition now, even though it is finished. But you get a bunch of perfect um, little characters there from Shit's Creek. Then we have Sailor Moon. And I have all these Sailor Moon stickers and I have no use for them, but, but I love them. Because <laughs> so, Sailor Moon is like my childhood. So I'm going to keep this around. I love it. I actually have a Sailor Moon... Um, the Moon Prism set from by Darcy. I have, uh, I'm doing a spread with that soonish, so I could probably use this on that spread. Then I just picked up an older sheet of the Simple Planners. They do have like 2021 on here, uh, but I thought they'd be cute just for general like planning out. And I like these with the ring planners, really cute. Just something simple. I picked up Vanilla Reading. Because I'm supposed to be reading more of, you know, life. Then I picked up a busy work because I thought these would be perfect for marking, like, um, all these, la like, iPads with the notes would be perfect for planning sets. And these computers would be perfect for any kind of work, but doing listings, sending files, that kind of thing. And then you could just, this could be running errands, the bags. I picked up another sheet of the pink tablets because I actually used up this sheet um, previously so I thought I could pick up another one. And of course I picked up another sheet of school essentials for this single row of iPads. And I also am using these cameras for filming as well. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just buying them for that. I'm going to have a lot of leftover um, teaching blackboards and probably backpacks but that's okay. I've been finding uses for everything else on this sheet. I just love these iPads. But that is my order from Paper Shire. Okay, we have another Paper Shire order in. This is like her second. So she did like two pop culture releases. So this is the second one. And I apologize if there's any like extra sound um, in the background. My back door is open because it's sunny and my cat Heidi is sunbathing. <laughs> um, it's now technically warm here, although it's like 9 degrees, 10 Celsius, but that's warm for here, right? <laughs> um, so we got another little egg, um, little egg bunny Easter card, as well as a big card, but I already sort of did away with that because um, it showed it earlier in the haul. But for this one, I remembered to put in a um, 
Piago. So there's actually like a post on Facebook of PR girls and um, also I think the main noise outside is the tram that's going by so I apologize because I can hear it. <laughs> um, but I won't mention it again. Just know that it'll be there if it is there. I don't know. I picked Celine. So I think the code is Celine 10 and um, I was looking through the list on Facebook of PR girls and you should have to look into the comments as well because on the post it has some of the older ones and then it gets updated with new girls um, or people uh, in the comments. So I found this one in the comments and I was like I love all these items. Uh, a lot of the free the PR samplers have like the nanas and stuff but I really love the cats and the food and the bunnies and this is the perfect one for me so check out Celine if that is also your bag. Then I made sure to mention the Facebook group in the notes to seller. So I got another of the March Facebook group exclusive, but I think we already hold this one. And then the all orders was these cute boxes. And then I got actually some Nanas, um, funnily enough. She had redone her cowpole stickers and they're like really nice and small now. So I got a couple of the designs. I got dinners. And this one, they're sort of like eating like cake and macarons and coffee. They're sharing spaghetti here. Here they have like, this like a pie and then this is like a steak. So it's like maybe a pub meal. And I just choose, chose the one with light, fair skin and brown hair for me and olive skin and black hair for Luck. Luck is white. <laughs> Um, but compared to me, it looks like a tan, so I kind of wanted to make it look more like how I feel like we look compared to each other, and they do have a black hair, so I thought that was really cute. And a bit more neutral as well to put into spreads. I picked up the daily ones as well, so this is like on a walk together, having a drink together, laughing, so it's really adorable. And then I put up da -da, another one of School Essentials for these iPads and cameras because I have a problem. And then she had the next set of um, pop culture ones and I literally just got one, one page. And it was four pages of it of The Lord of the Rings because as you've known and also Lauren Plans as well this too. We've been complaining about there like no Lord of the Rings stickers out there. And like Lord of the Rings was my teenage, my preteen and teenage years, like crazily. I used to write fan fiction, okay, with Elvish in it, because <laughs> my fan fiction character was an elf dating Legolas, as you do, because that was me <laughs> and my generation. Um, anyway, so I want to make sure I get a bunch of these to stock up. They are so cute. You got all of the fellowship here. I'm so excited they look amazing and I'm also trying to read the books right now and been re-watching films on and off so I really just wanted to make sure I had a bunch of these and then also um, coming to Amazon is the Lord of the Rings like um, based TV show I can't remember oh it's um I think it's based in the second age with the Numenorians, I think uh, don't quote me on that, but there's an Amazon Lord of the Rings TV show in development. So if um, that gets released and I'm into it, then I will want these to mark that as well. Although obviously it won't, it'll be pre um, the fellowship, but super exciting. So that was my final order from Paper Shire. Um, although of course, definitely more orders in the future. This is a little order from Simply Gilded. She did a charity washi, so I made sure to pick one up. The packaging, packaging always seems a little silly with a singular washi because it kind of like just bends the card a bit. <laughs> and it is a really adorable card. Um, it's gonna focus on them. It's just these adorable like foil bunnies with foil um, bows. Really cute. Other one that's on, it's on its butt. <laughs> and maybe it might flash it out in my where I keep my journaling cards. So I keep them in an album. But that's a cute one. And then we got the freebie. 
Um, just a cute little green juniper freebie in gold foil. And then just one of the little blue labels. But yes, she did a um, charity washi for um, uh, donating against Asian hate because obviously there was a there's been a huge rise of um, hate crimes against Asian people, especially in America um, since COVID and uh, began. And I really wanted to support the cause, so uh, you know what's a better way than getting something in return, I guess, <laughs> for it. But she donated the proceeds from this specific washi roll to those charities um, helping Asian be Asian Americans. And it is the Lucky Cat and it's got light gold foil on their little like colors and little bows and it's got a pink background. And honestly, it was like the perfect washi for me because I love Lucky Cats, I love cats. <laughs> I have a black Lucky Cat um, in my kitchen and I also have this purple magnet from One Ton in a Million. Oh, and here's my cat, <laughs> who is a calico, a lot like the classic lucky cat. Anyway, that's funny, but she must have heard me say cat, and she's like, it's me. <laughs> um, but I really love the light gold, obviously, and the pink, just so cute. So, love that, and love supporting good causes, that's simply gilded. Alright guys, we're going to get into the nitty gritty, the main event stuff, the kits. So, strap in, get yourself a drink and a snack because we're going through kits. I have Crest Press and Scribble Prince Co and a bunch of my art here, so we're about to get into some lectures here. Alright, <laughs> just, I don't know, I'm in a weird mood. Anyway, so I got my stack. I find it easier to like pull lots of kits if I have them out and in a stack. Um, and then we can get nice and close up. But first we have a monthly um, well, Caress Press and we'll start with a monthly kit. This is a monthly kit for May. So Caress Press uh, are standard monthly sizes and I do have a standard size monthly spread to do in my um, uh, Harriet Wright Design Spiral Planner that I pre-plan in. So I just like to pick up a kit to date that up because um, it is dateless. What are you doing, Heidi? And um, she's knocking stuff over. And yeah, I just really like that way I get different stuff. Um, but this time in May, um, she usually has two choices, and I ended up just going with the Dream Art, which you will see a fair bit in this haul. <laughs> anyway, I picked the sidebar with the girl, and I love how it's like she's huge, so you get to really to see the detail. I don't know if you gotta, you gotta like zoom in on that, but she has little freckles. I put some freckles on her. Super cute. I've been trying to do more freckles because obviously I have freckles. <laughs> um, and most fashion girls tend to be sort of perfect, but um, freckles are always fun. And then it comes with this page with some extra full boxes like that. I, th I assume there's two days in the month um, that are not in the month that need to be covered up and some deco and boxes. And then you have the top bar with the sort of extended on the bottom. Payday's icons, you know, the the works. Um, I don't film these monthly spreads, so I thought I'd show you show you the kits that I choose each month. Um, let me see. It's very sunny outside, so I don't think we need it to be this light. Okay, hopefully it's a bit better for you. Then you have the other sidebar at the top, some washi strips, date dots, which are important for um, that planner because it has no dates at all and some more decorative boxes and then you have the labels, some Jews, things like that. I've been liking to put these Jews in to actually mark like um, deadlines for art sets and customs so I can put these in and then take them off when they're done. Super nice. Although my, my schedule is a bit more flexible than that so it doesn't always work. <laughs> Um, and then we have the first kit here, which is Dream, as I said, and you will be seeing it again from School Will Prince Co. But this is kind of like the me set. Um, I did sort of introduce a little bit of Rapunzel because, you know, she's a princess who loves, who's an artist. And, um, and I do love Rapunzel as well, Tangled. So I did do sort of like the hair plait, the flowers. 
but this is mostly just an excuse for an art set and which I've been planning for a while and yeah I just I really love it I was so happy with it um, with the book the pile of um, artist books here which I used to have a lot of art theory books um, before I moved to countries and oh I drew a little pocket cloud this is actually based on the pocket cloud which you might have been able to tell from the um, scallop and then I did a little daisy as a button instead of the heart or the circle so cute <laughs> I love that in real life I love the daisy and then you have like these really cute face masks and yeah ah, I just love it um, and I love how she with a little rainbow like watercolor rainbow in the sketchbook that's really cute to go with all the other items um, and then the uh, kit comes with this for free like it's included as a freebie so it's like some different um, skin tone options and slightly different scene um, if you don't want any fashion girls in it and then you can see here more of the Rapunzel influence on the blonde girl and then I also picked up the 15 millimeter and I love how both of these sets I've got two shops of dream and the colors are like pretty different so that's really cool and how they print up is different and I think different choices of patterns too so that's always fun to see um, but yeah so this is like the deco and the sketchbook and pencils and chocolate are actually from my two worlds Tarzan set because Jane was also an artist <laughs> and I just include them in here as well because I'm like why draw another one when I can put this in as well with some different colors and then to add to sort of the springiness, I added some lemonade and daisies. And we've got some, I think this is uh, the essentials kit. And now I've decided to start getting the full kit. I pretty much just copy and Lauren plans at this point, <laughs> you know, to get the full heart checklist. Um, and then you have a full page of patent. And I had some, a lot of fun making like these sort of pencils. These are like pencil shading. Um, pencil brushes to make sort of more arty effect and then you have like paint splatter as well yeah I just love these colors like I love how both you'll see both sets are pretty different but also similar I don't know <laughs> um, all the functional stuff some little things I do wish she had like less of these and more of these like maybe take out the food ones and I'd still like I like the package in the TV but maybe take out a row of the food ones. I don't know. Because I don't really mark my food, my meals that way anymore. Um, I tend to do like dinners in the sidebar. And then you have the bottom washi, which is the fun paint splatter with a grid and just like the outfit flat lay here. Real cute. And I put, pulled in that Disney, that uh, Daisy. It's a Daisy Dream perfume. So it's like both Daisy and Dream. It was kind of perfect. And then another one you'll see again in Scribble Prince Co. But this is Belle, and so this was my, um, uh, well, okay, I really wanted to do it uh, once again, like the artist said. I'm like, I really want to do this theme, but maybe it's not like everyone would love it. So, what can I do as a spin? And I have been doing like sort of Disney esque sets before. So this one again is like that. I really wanted to draw Rococo, one of my favorite art periods, um, art and fashion periods, especially like um, Francois Boucher and everything like that. So I did a Rococo one. I'm like, well, what's Rococo in Disney? Duh, it's Beauty and the Beast. They have, um, like Rapunzel actually was based on, they had concept art from The Swing, which was also a Rococo. But they had paintings, um, concept paintings, based on Rococo paintings for Bill. So I put the two together and I think it turned out so pretty. It was very fancy, very, it's actually pretty strict the way the, the set goes because it has a lot of just gold items. Um, and then, yeah, so in this version we have obviously the Beast and I did actually base him off um, Dan Stevens who was the beast in the live action I don't like the live action nope don't like it I do like Dan Stevens though uh, so based off a really hot photo of him which I don't think it really came out in my drawing at all I will put the picture up 
here so you can look at the man candy because I talk about it without showing you. Um, I think I tried my best but I don't think it really captures the photo. But I think he looks fine for the beast and I took some um, liberties with his hair and facial because Rococo men's hair is kind of like crazy. <laughs> And then we have one of the girls here. She was more of like an extra girl. I was actually just planning on drawing the dress on a mannequin, which I did. And then I was like, man, this is kind of boring. What if I put a head on her? And then what if we put a flower crown on her? That'd be super cute. So that's the process of that. <laughs> and I think she ended up being my favorite person and piece in the set. Um, but then obviously to bring in, and then we did the library, I thought like a Rococo library would be really fun to sort of bring in the bell thing. Um, and then it goes with this candlestick and the clock, and we have the magic mirror. We have an open book which is actually a um, 18th century book. I think it's 18th century but that is a real book, obviously it's not in copyright anymore so it can be used. We have the like little chip in the teacup and the flower in the dome. And then sort of add some more general French Rococo items like the mask and the, the madeleines, the macarons. But yeah, I think it turned out really pretty. Did I not? I don't know where I put the, oh, here's the extra items. <laughs> I picked up the 15 millimeter. And again, the different color choices, I think. Um, so the freebie, I think this is the freebie. We got the other girl, which is sort of like the bell tie and this one has a dark skin, obviously, to level out the choice in the kit. But this is like my bell insert. And then um, this is actually the Beast's Castle, which I think it's a Disney World. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. It's one of the Disney parks, like one of those like um, it's actually really small, but because they put it up at an angle, it looks bigger. <laughs> so this is what the Beast Castle is supposed to look like, and I thought I would recreate it. And it's probably one of my best castles. Um, I have done a few another castle since then, but which was actually pretty good. So maybe not my best castle anymore, but you will have to wait and see that. So then we have the usual. Um, uh, I don't know why I mixed all these pages up. <laughs> We have the usual stuff in here, and then we have like a stack of books and some flowers. Yeah, I think it turned out really pretty, and I tried to like incorporate a lot of patterns, like Rococo Baroque patterns. It was easy to find Baroque versus Rococo, so but they're very sim, they're very close. Although Baroque is like more black and dark, and um, my history work is actually more in the Baroque period than Rococo, but nonetheless, I love it all. <laughs> and I just love these colors as well. I think they're very like big in Rococo, like you have the pastel like pinks and um, greens, like the more pastel that we know today, but they also had a lot of these kind of colors, especially the blue. Um, so that's why I chose those colors. And this is a full kit, so you also get the three hat checklist, and then we at the end we have like these really adorable shoes. Not historically correct. Um, these are actually like a Lolita brand, which Japanese Lolita is based off Rococo and Victorian um, fashion. Sorry, just having some water. And these are some really cute shoes <laughs> that I found um, that I really wanted to include. So that's the bell set. And then this is a different one. Um, both SBC and Caress Press did this kit, and but I th I'm pretty sure that only Caress Press included the. So you have this little puppy, and then there was also a cat version. So I picked this one up solely because Caress Press had the cat included. <laughs> um, but either way, they were both good. Uh, but super bright. It's called Sweetest Things. It's super duper bright, um, especially on this premium matte paper. Uh, it's a focus at all. Yeah, I guess so. Weird. <laughs> um, but, there we go. Um, yeah, it's just a fun springy set, which I don't know exactly when I want to use it. I did, um, look at the 15 millimeter, and I did actually add on an extra fashion girl. You can just buy a solo one from Caress Press most of the time. I wanted the one with the dark brown or black hair, because I thought she was really pretty. 
Although this also came with this freebie of extra boxes with some different skin tones. And um, yeah, these are like super bright <laughs> colors. I'm not sure what, what planner I want to use it in. Uh, I really love this mint actually. Um, uh, I feel like the patterns could be better, but they're still really cute. I love this pattern the most. And then this one with like the little cherry blossoms included is cute. Um, but as I said, I bought it. If we're ever going to get there. <laughs> We have all the, oh, there we go. I bought the full kit as well, so I could use it in my pre-planner if I wanted. Here's the cat. It's probably not as cute as the dog, but look at it. <laughs> it looks like a Pixar cat, or now it's a Pixar cat because it was in Seoul, but it was a very similar looking cat. It was also in Big Hero 6, which, which was Disney, so it's like a current Disney cat kind of look. <laughs> which is really cute so that's why I pretty much got this one but that was all of my orders from Caress Press and I didn't say but I got them all in the premium matte which I'm really loving as something different as well and now here we go the pile of scribble prints <laughs> Um, obviously I have been buying a lot more from Crest Press lately, but SPC is still my ride or die. I should probably tip this out of the way, um, but Audrey noticed that I was really liking the Full Heart Checklist in my pre-planner. And, um, yeah, look, look how thick this is. These are some misfit checklist boxes that they still kind of have from their old kids. I, you know, it's... It's a lot. <laughs> Look how many of them are. I don't know why there's two bags. Jeez. Um, I think Andre just told Kirsten to just put in a punch. And this is what Kirsten did. So thank you, Kirsten. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll be wanting for heart checklists for a long time. <laughs> so those are just because the kids don't come with them anymore. And I want to use some of them in my... I'm pre planner so now I can or I, I might be able to change it up and we might change up how I plan in my main planner we will see I don't know I'm thinking about it you can just it's always fun to be flexible with your planner and change it up um, if you need to if you want to so this is some freebies that I have we've got this planner friends make the best friends a lot of boxes I got a bunch of word scripts as well, the little ones. So I got a bunch of those in the pretty much the same. <laughs> and then I think these are the 75 plus freebie. You get a full page of these. So I got some of those. I'll just decant them into my um uh my scripts stuff. And then I had a few packs of big freebies, but I pretty much only kept um I got two pages of these day extenders, but these are the wide ones, so it's like a storybook. And I don't think I actually have any of these, so now I have six of them, so that's really nice. Sorry, you can't really see them in this light. Um, it's just a white piece of paper. Um, and then I also got one of these um, matte label samples for like 150 I think. Um, don't judge me, but I... <laughs> I got the sparkly hollow one, which is super pretty. So those are a lot of my freebies from all of my orders. And now my non-foil or sticker items, kit items I should say. I picked up this little vinyl of the SBC logo. It is clear um, with the pink and white. Really cute. So I gotta find a place to put that. I'll show you the doodles next. She started doing doodles uh, if you want those for your planning. So we're about to go through all the ones that I went through, have bought recently. I picked up another set of the um, planning out the kids stickers. So I use them in my main kit organization. So look, uh, I use them like this. And I usually just overlay, I think we're up to here so this one's up to the end of October so yes here we go this is where I need to start you see there that's the end of the last one and now I can start filling in the rest 
um, into the next year. And I pretty much, I keep going into that, that sticker album. I go all the way through December and then I'll put January monthly at the very start of the album. So it keeps going around. And um, yeah, so I really love these and it makes it so much easier to be organized. I also picked up a sticker pack for the dream set. You can just see there are a bunch of die cut stickers and they're perfect for decorating dashboards and stuff. So I picked up the dream one which I requested. <laughs> I thought it would be perfect to decorate April. Then here are the, the doodles that I got. So she's been releasing 10 a week and I pretty much just pick up the ones that speak to me. Uh, I think all the, a lot of the first ones were Disney themed so I think I got less and now I'm going to have in the future hauls a lot more doodles but yeah so first we have the mobile phones or cell phones as Americans call them. This just got a cute mini design on them but it's always nice to have a little phone design and these would be perfect for um, fancy labels and little things so I think they'll be really handy that way. I got little storybooks, so this would be fun for reading or anything like that, but it has like the little fairy tale castle on it. And this is like a bowl of ice cream, but it's like Mickey ears. <laughs> but um, we do love ice cream in this house. And I feel like Finland loves ice cream. <laughs> then I got the Mickey pancakes, super adorable, and I like how they go either direction for whichever side you need to use them on. Do love pancakes too, and I got the pizza. I think she also had like colorful pastel pizzas, but I'm cool with just having the traditional color. But I love how it's really light and pastel, so it'll go with every set. Because um, I have a lot of other pizza stickers, but they have like the bright red and uh, and yellow, and it just doesn't go with a lot of kids. But this one will. Like I think it'll go with bright and pastel because it won't stand out so much. Um, but it has like little Mickey pepperonis, which is really cute. And if you want to know my pizza order, it is pepperoni and pineapple. And just trust me, like the sweet tanginess of the pineapple with this spicy meatiness of the pepperoni, so good. And then we have some little cloud planners, so adorable. Then we have like these little Mickey, okay. I think uh, Andre was like, why the heck did you order three pages of these um, Mickey pumpkins? <laughs> and yeah, it's kind of weird, but I actually was thinking about how it has like the white um, heart in the middle. And these are normal sticker paper, the normal glossy paper. I thought this would be perfect if, um, like in my pre-planner, I just need a something to check off for a thing. So I could put this next to the item and then I could check it off. Like it's a little checklist item. So isn't that cute? <laughs> It'll probably be more like useful in like autumn and into Halloween, but I think they'll be super cute to use as little checklists or just little check boxes, I should say. I have the Mickey donuts. Also love donuts in this house. Um, get the little laptops. I got these in the normal grey and in the pastel colour. I like how the grey has like the two angles. Though I'm not too picky about angles on stickers these days. But yeah, cute little laptops. And then, I think this is the last one of the pile. Yes. Now I'm, I think I got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of the iPads. Um which Andrea did for me basically but there's only like one of each color and I would probably want to use like the same one for the whole week and um, it could possibly be seven days of the week that I'll draw so I got seven of them so I can use just one color across a whole spread and they will be the same and I won't like run out of anything um, for the week so I got seven of the little iPads and they have a little pencil attached. But those are all the doodles that I picked up from SPC and I have a bunch more coming. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to show you all the wiggle uh, foil bundles. We're not calling them wiggles anymore. They're foil bundles and um, please don't judge me because I kind of went nuts. Anyway, 
So I got these rainbow star ones previously and I thought I might use them a bit more. So I picked up two more because I think you only had two and I don't know, you never know and I love the star design so I picked up two more of those. And then I picked up, oh gosh, how many? One, two, three, four of the matte bronze um, confetti. So yeah, looking at this now, it's like it's not gold because like it doesn't have any of the warmth of gold. It is much closer to like a taupe, um, which is more like the idea of a bronze, but it's really light and it's slightly matte, so it's not too shiny. But um, anyway, like I was talking to Audrey and she was like, yeah, this is going to go with so many sets and it's like really, you can kind of see that color there. You see how it's not like, it's not too yellow and it's not taupe. <laughs> um, it's like a really, really light matte bronze. Um, but it's like a really chic, um, neutral foil, which should go with a lot of sets. So I picked up four of those in the confetti. Because why not? <laughs> and then um, I picked up two of the star designs in hollow gold. And you actually see, I think I'm going to use this with the superhero set um, that I did, which we're about to get into soon. Um, I know a lot of people like, you could do rainbow, um, but I thought, or silver or hollow, but I thought gold hollow would be really cool, especially thinking about um, Wonder Woman 84. Uh, there's a lot of like hollow gold, that kind of look in the promotion stuff, um, especially with her gold suit. So I thought hollow gold would be really fun with a superhero set. And I just got two just in case. And then I picked up another sparkly hollow celestial because I used my last one. I think it was uh, attached to a mystery, the February mystery. <laughs> Um, and I already used that one, so I was like, I'll pick up another one because they came in stock. And then I picked up one of the, um, confetti, I think it ended up being like hollow waves, but like you can see it here. I picked up the matte label for once. I almost never do. Um, but I thought this really showed off the foil the best. Um, you can see like net waves. And I really liked it in the hollow. I didn't care for it so much in the other foils that came out in but I do like the hollow and it makes me think of it'll be perfect with a summer kit in the future this summer so I picked that up for some summer set coming I don't know which one it is a Heidi but <laughs> but now we can get into a pile of stuff so once again uh, get ready <laughs> let's have some water Get out of the way, Heidi. She's taking up the whole desk. What are you, what are you chewing? What, no, those are my glasses. And my glasses are like all chewed up, like, because she keeps chewing on them. Anyway. No, you leave my glasses alone. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to hold my glasses for a while. Heidi. You're making this video unnecessarily long. <laughs> oh, she's lying down. She's lying down on a pile of plastic rubbish so I think she's joining us for the long haul all right I don't know if you'll be out I'll be able to get her in the frame oh she's just there <laughs> you can't really see her at all she is looking at the camera which you can really see her pause but this Heidi okay let's get into it so I got another monthly with the dream art. This is for my um, my Oristel because that's what the monthlies at Scribble Prints Co. fit. And they um, don't have months attached to them so I can use it whenever. I can't remember when I'm using it. Sometime. <laughs> uh, but you can see like the different colors compared to Crest Press. And how they came out differently which I think is really fun. Uh, they're just like a touch darker in the school prince glue. And then she picked more of like the terrazzo and the stars and painty. And the stripes kind of patterns. So I think they're really fun that they're both fairly different. Um, that is the monthly set and I do film those. So you'll be able to see that whichever month I choose to do it. I can't remember. 
maybe next month. Um, so the first kit I have here, I get all ultimates. And this is the Batu Bound, which was our custom Star Wars um, Galaxy's Edge art. So Batu is, I think, like the town that's in Galaxy's Edge. And, or settlement, I guess it is. And yeah, we just thought it would be fun to do like a whole new Star Wars um, art, refresh it, and make it like if people are going specifically for Galaxy's Edge, like Star Wars is their favorite thing in the parks, then they can use this set. But you can just use it for Star Wars in general. And I used to be a huge Star Wars fan. Rise of the Skywalker kind of like dampened that a bit. I really loved The Last Jedi, which I know is unpopular, but I do, and I liked how it was changing, like the flow, and then it just went right back to whatever that Sky Rise of Skywalker was. I did so many like um, physical cringes and rolling of my eyes during that film. It was nuts. But anyway, <laughs> and I was like, no, at many parts. But that was fun. <laughs> I choose not to dwell on it because I prefer to like things, which you might not guess the rest of this haul, but I try to. <laughs> things make it hard, alright? Most of the things I do love. Anyway, that's a tangent. We did this really fun art. We did um, the scene with the Millennium Falcon here with some stormtroopers, and then I did a second scene of like the shopping area which Andrew is very kind and made into the freebie because it's like, it was a pain in the butt. <laughs> like, um, I'm not used to drawing like technical sci-fi kind of things. I feel like every custom is a brand new challenge <laughs> for my art artistic abilities. But I think it turned out really well and I tried to be a bit more loose with my art and being like less perfect with my lines and I think that works, uh, especially with how small stickers are. But yes, as a long ten tangent, we got all the fun little um, Star Wars things in here. And of course, I'm so glad there's a little Porg. And there's also a little um, um, uh, Yoda. <laughs> so cute. Um, and I really love this girl. With, and I did sort of like try to do the pigtails as the, I got the 15 millimeter. I also did in the other version of the girl, like they both have sort of a layer, little puffs on the side. Um, I thought that'd be really cute. But yeah, there's so many cute things in here. And you got like Solo's dice and you have um, the crystals and like the sodas you can get. But yeah, super fun. I have been to Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland and I did think it was really cool. Like um, the set dressing was really awesome. Although it was really hot and there were like no shady parts. <laughs> Especially if you're walking through Galaxy's Edge to another part of the park, which we inevitably did literally every single time. We always walk through Galaxy's Edge, even though it feels like it's way out of the way from the rest of the park. So much walking through there and like no shade. I'm like, why? <laughs> um, but as I said, like by the time I went, um, I wasn't that much into Star Wars, but I picked it up because I... I'm really excited for the Obi-Wan show to come out on Disney+. Plus. Um, they just announced all the cast and I love... Okay, <laughs> this might sound weird, but I do love the, the original trilogy the most, but I also really love the prequels. Like, uh, they came out when I was a kid, so that was like, you know... Although I watched the originals before the prequels came out, so it wasn't like my first Star Wars experience. Um, but I did love the prequels, and I love Ewan McGregor's um, Obi-Wan, and I love Anakin Skywalker. That might be <laughs> another weird opinion, but I thought it was a really good, um, like, what he had to do with the script. It was really good. So Hayden is in it as well. So I'm really excited to see what they do with Obi-Wan. Obi um, there was a fan box which had... I actually did a custom of this dude that was in my superhero set, but he had um, a show that says this is the way. So it was like um, referencing Mandalorian. I watched the first three episodes of Mandalorian and I wasn't into it. <laughs> I was like, when the third episode finished, I was like, and that's the end of the first episode. I feel like they really dragged on those first three episodes. I don't know. I just, I've lost kind of the magic of it. I do enjoy watching... We rewatched Han Solo 
a Star Wars story recently and I kind of wish there was a sequel to that because I'd love to see more of the solo stuff and I loved Rogue One. I don't know. It's really just Rises <laughs> and Mandalorian just not into it. But can't love everything, can you? Which brings us to a superhero. So I, uh, I feel like it's been requested for a long time to do a superhero kit set. And there was a lot of like kids parties and individual um, superhero characters. But nothing that was kind of like just I love superhero stuff and I love movies and comics and all that kind of thing. Like you're just a fan of superheroes. And um, so that's the art I did. And uh, I know there was a lot of comments uh, about how they didn't like how it was Marvel and DC mixed. Uh, but I'm going to be completely 100% honest with you. If I only drew Marvel, this wouldn't have happened at all. Like, I I watched... How many Marvel watch films have I watched? Up to Thor Ragnarok, I think. So quite a few Marvel films. And I just don't care about them. <laughs> I literally don't care. Um, I love DC Comics. I love DC characters. I actually love the Zack Snyder films, especially in director's cuts. I feel like Warner Brothers is always meddling and they kind of ruin the films and they're much better when you actually get to see the um the actual vision of the artist and <laughs> of the director because i do enjoy zack snyder's stuff and you know honestly i kind of waffled on this set because i didn't really want to draw marvel things as much as i enjoy thor and i love x-men actually i don't feel like x-men is really marvel <laughs> X-Men is like, I used to read comics probably two years straight where I picked up books literally every week. And I picked up nearly every single DC book for two years and was reading them. And I read old collections and I read a lot of DC comics. And I pretty much the only Marvel book I read was um, X-23, who is um, like a young female um, clone off of Wolverine and she's pretty awesome that was an awesome book like it was her and gambit and then halfway through wolverine and vampire jubilee um joined them and then they ruined the book and canceled it you know marvel are terrible at women-led books terrible <laughs> that's why i mostly read dc because there was way more books for women uh women-led books in dc but i digress uh I just prefer DC. I don't care about Marvel. Maybe Thor. That's about it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people were disappointed that DC stuff was in here, but it was either going to be some DC or nothing at all. <laughs> Honestly, I, I wish I could have drawn it as just DC because I'm using this for just DC related things. Um, yeah, I don't know. I gotta change the battery. I'm been complaining too much. All right, a fresh battery is in. A bird just flew by, so at least we missed Heidi rushing across my desk. But, um, yeah, I will stop with that whole rant. I'm just saying I was a big superhero fan, and it was DC. And everyone else loves Marvel in the world. So, and I did get a few, like, almost bordering on rude comments about it. Someone's yelling out there. <laughs> um, which... I know it kind of sucked because people are so rude about not liking Marvel. It's weird. <laughs> and I'm like, I just don't choose to watch them. I've watched plenty of them and I just, they're not for me. Like, what's wrong with that? Um, but yeah, so I wasn't going to draw this actually. I was, I took it off my list, took it out of my plans. I'm like, you know what? I, this is not worth the drama and having to like, try and draw this Marvel stuff uh but then Zack Snyder's Justice League came out um and I was watching the trailers for it and the hype and I was just like okay <laughs> I'm so excited now and everyone really tried to burst that bubble but it came out and it was so good so I'm so glad I drew this because I'm going to use it for a week that I want to watch all three Man of Steel BVS director's cut and Zack Snyder's Justice League all in one week and I think it'll be so good because those two, those three films are really interconnected and they're, they're a trilogy. So I'm going to use that for this week. 
Um, so yeah, so this is the art. Technically, I did keep a tally of Marvel and DC references, and there are more Marvel references in the art than DC. So don't come at me. <laughs> um, like there's only Marvel jumpers in here for one example. But yeah, here it is. I put in a little Wonder Vision t-shirt because someone mentioned Wonder Vision like by the time I'd almost finished, and I was like, well, I guess I'll do her t-shirt as Wonder. Um, well, I have my own opinions on that character. And then of course I did, so I was like, I'll split it up and I'll put a little DC t-shirt on the dude. These are all DC comic collections, by the way. Um, I was like, I'm getting my comics in the DC. I actually don't know what are the big Marvel DC, like Marvel comic stories. Um, like I assume like the movies were based off them, like Civil War probably was one, I assume, Infinity Wars. But in DC, I'll just name a couple from here. You've got Kingdom Come, you got Batman Hush, which is my favorite. Um, you have the Crisis on Infinite Earths, which was a CW show, one that they did. You have Red, Red, Superman Red Sun, The Killing Joke, Jack Kirby's New Gods, which is what like Steppenwolf, Darkseid are their new gods. Um, just a bunch of those cool stories in there. And then you'll see like Wakanda Forever and then the freebie has a the other jumper that I included which is actually not DC, it is another Marvel. It's Captain Marvel, um, higher, further, faster. I've never seen Captain Marvel but I wanted to represent like the more female led films, you know. Um, with the Batman light, the Superman glasses, you know, like the Hulk mask and there's like a Thor mask there and then you have Disney Plus for some of the movies and then you have on um, this alternate box so you can take out the less Marvel things in here with the pizza. You see the Batman mask and you have HBO Max which has Justice League, <laughs> you have Justice League, um, Zack Snyder's, you have Wonder Woman 84, Birds of Prey which is actually really good and Shazam which I enjoyed. And then Disney Plus has a Black Widow because that's coming soon. So I thought maybe people would use it for Black Widow. Um, Spider-Man, because I didn't really do a lot of Spider-Man in here. Um, <laughs> what else do we got in here? I can't even recognize that. You got Infinity War and Endgame, I think. But yes. Then you have the TV and you have like the um, Gauntlet. A little, uh, Captain America mug as well as a little Batman mug and then this is the scene from, I don't know, either Endgame or Infinity Wars. I think it's Infinity Wars scene. I don't know. <laughs> and then he has some Blu-rays here. So you have like um, BBS, Captain Marvel, Ant-Man, bunch of the Avengers stuff, Shazam, Watchmen I included because I wanted to do a little, little nod to Watchmen because I love Watchmen. Then you have like um, Captain America's cap which I remembered from um, Civil War, which I have, wa I've watched Civil War. Um, and of course you have like rings, but they're the, um, you can actually buy these rings. They are the Infinity Gauntlet, but in like ring. And then this is a Captain America waffle, which you can buy the iron <laughs> online. And then, um, Iron Man, um, headphones. Yeah, I thought that was funny. Having some real themed stuff in here. I did get the 15 millimeter and... The extra colors, although I've been color blocking, so I might not use them, but I thought I'd throw them into the mix. Then you have like the planner, um, the cute planner box, and then I did a girl, um, a girl drawing a comic book, which those are hard to draw, like the inside of. But for the people who actually read the comic books, I thought that'd be a nice little nod. Oh yes, and then you do have um, Harley, Harley's Quinn's bat from. Well, she uses the bat more in Suicide Squad because she uses more of her mallet in Birds of Prey, but I put that in there and then we have like the Batman light and then the little um, lighting bolt earrings, which I thought it was sort of like the flash. Yeah, lots of, uh, pretty much everything's a reference. <laughs> and all these colors, you kind of have like the villain colors here or like Hulk maybe, and then you have more like the superhero color here, like or Flash or Superman or... What up, Iron Man, I guess. <laughs> so I thought they kind of went really well together. Also, purple can kind of be a Batman color. But yeah, I kind of just went nuts with the stars and things like that in the set. Stars and stripes and whatnot. 
So it's super hard. I'm sorry I spent so long talking about that, but I have a lot of feelings about it. Once again, I'm, I, I feel like my superior like has waned since everything. Um, although I, I was really jazzed about um, just the new Justice League. But that's pretty much it. I don't know. Oh my gosh, Heidi. She keeps seeing birds and coming back and coming over. And just stay in the window. <laughs> uh, oh no, you're coming back now? There's still birds out there. Gosh. Because I'm right next to a window. Anyway. Talking about cats, I bought Cat Cafe from SPC with Darcy's Art. Um, Darcy is like one of my favorite artists and I loved this Cat Cafe art. I'm um, sorry. Um, she likes it too. She's so adorable. You know, I love cats so, so very much. And um, I didn't even know she had the 3D latte art. That's really cute. I did, one of, I did something similar in my recent set and I think that's adorable. I love the look of the 3D latte art <laughs> and uh, I've actually been to a cat cafe in Tokyo in Ikebukuro and it was super duper cute. I didn't really like get any coffees or anything. We just stood around. We just kept walking around looking at all the cats and they actually had, um, this is before we got Heidi, but they actually had a Norwegian forest cat which she is and he was just so cute and he was sitting in the sink half the time <laughs> and um, he's so adorable and we kind of fell in love with Norwegian forest cats then and then you know, inevitably we also got one but um, they have lots of cute cats there so I highly recommend if you can ever go to a cat cafe do it it's awesome I assume they're like super shut right now because cats can get COVID so obviously I wouldn't want to like endanger any of them but That'd be sweet. <laughs> That's so cute. I love cats. And this is just an adorable kit. Kit. I don't know when I'm going to use this. Um, I could always save it for next year for Heidi's birthday. Or we also have like her gotcha day. So we picked her up in June or July. It's in my planner. Um, so like the day we got it. But we will see. I got the fashion girls because they're so adorable. And there's no cat that really looks like Heidi. So I'm going to say this cat. Is Heidi <laughs> um, because it's like if you just put some black and orange on it it's Heidi and then it's like got the pointy face like her but oh and this makes me think of my old tabby boy Babette oh then the freebie was this one with some extra skin tones <gasps> the cat in the cloud like beanbag that's so cute and the cat paws in the flat lay oh <laughs> like literally Heidi right now lying in all the stickers it's kind of ridiculous, <laughs> but she is a paws curled up, not stretched out. That is so cute, and a little cat in the coffee. We used to have a beanbag when I had like um, two cats, and one would lie in the beanbag, and the other one would go and lie on top of him. So it'd just be like stacked cats on the beanbag. Ridiculous <laughs> cats! I love them so, so much good stuff in here. And I love these colors. These would even be good for like August, like a late summer or spring. So adorable. Love these patterns. It's like, it's like a paint splatter glitteriness. That's kind of cool. And then as I said, I picked up a dream from SPC as well. And I love this one too. I love them both. I guess this one sort of displays more of like the, um, I really love this marble bust of the head and um, so I love how that shows that one a bit more and then she put in a different painting here of like more Rapunzel-esque so you have like the lantern there um, with like the sun and then you have like the more Rapunzel girl here so cute in the backpack I love it <laughs> and then the freebie with this one with these little doodles of painterly stuff so that's really cool and I picked up the Fashion Girls because I think I wanted a different choice for this girl maybe. I think I was going to get the redhead. So I picked that up and the 15 millimeter. And then this one you have like the separate scene of like the work um, place. So you got the laptop working on a drawing of, um, I think it's a cassette tape and some boots if I remember correctly. <laughs> 
Um, and they have like the mannequin and stuff. And then we have like a cute fashion flat lay with the hand. Yes. And all the daisies. But it's like, it still feels like a completely different set with the colors. I love it. Like they kind of like they are the same colors, but they're not. Just love that difference. And have like different patterns. And I love the stripe as the bottom washi. I've probably been doing this too much. So I should probably stop doing so many of them, but they look so cool. I'm just loving it right now. Alright, and now <laughs> less opinions from Jess again. We got this galaxy set, which is Villa Art Studio Art. So is that um like springy one from Chris Press. But this is like a galaxy set and um Oh, this kid's yelling outside, and Heidi's not happy. But, I don't know, I thought this was really cute. Um, I feel like Galaxy's kind of out these days, but I really liked a lot of the elements of here, and the colors um, really spoke to me, and I love the dark glitter. So I picked it up for that reason. Um, I really love how there's like a gaming control, and then you have the, um, I really like these boots and this um, coffee, and like the hair accessories. Those are really cute. And you have the 15 millimeter. And I picked this up because I really love this girl here with the NASA um, backpack, like the NASA jumper. I thought she was really cool. And then the freebie was extras of this astronaut girl. And then you have like the toolbox here. But I really love these colors. It's pretty much why I picked it up. Don't like my water bottle, Heidi. Gross. <laughs> um, oh, that's a really cute cloud with the stars hanging down. Those are cute. I feel like it's us millennials who love Galaxy and not so much the youngins, but I just thought it'd make a really cute set and I don't know when I would use it or which planner, but I thought I'd just pick it up anyway just to have it because I did enjoy the art. So that is that one. That's cute. It's got like geometric glitter lines. Then I picked up this really dark one, Serenity, which I thought was really different. Um, and I really enjoyed the more romantic aspects of it. I've actually been seeing a lot of these references um, in my Pinterest um, journey at the moment. Like, the kind of like rowboat. It's kind of like feeds into cottage core, right? But these like dark colors, which is cool. And um, I just liked how different it was. And I feel like I've been seeing a lot of these like butterfly nets as well. <laughs> I think it's just like an aesthetic right now, which I think I really like. So I picked this one up just for another different thing, like different options. Um, this is the freebie with different skin tones. Like the girl lying in the grass, which is cute. And then like the swans. Adorable. I love those. It's just like different colors and this could make for a really good like September set if everything is still sort of warm but cooling down maybe. I don't know. Just something different. Um, and I really like that sort of 90s daisy pattern on the bottom. And then I think this is the last one before the mystery kit. <laughs> um, and we already kind of talked about the bell art, right? So, uh, But I really love the way that Andrea put all of it together. Just like putting all the flowers in, I think that makes it so lush. And then you have actual, like the bell look here with the brown hair and the light skin tones. That's like bell and beast. And I really love how she put the painting here with the frame behind it. That looks really cute. And the, the books. Really emphasizes the books, I think. And then we have the um, bottle washi. So you have like more of a turn to the blue rather than that. Maroon. And then I picked up the fashion girls of this girl because it was cool to see like you have more of the outfit in this one actually but also different skin tones. So pretty. And then she included um, for freebie the different guys. You have like the blonde one but then you also have I just didn't I put him into the darker skin tone I'm like it just doesn't look right. Um, and I feel like sometimes you can get away with it but I feel like um, black men's hair is so different to women's. Um, black women are more likely to wear wigs and things, like have different kind of hair textures and styles. Whereas black men, I just haven't seen a lot do that. 
obviously you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I just didn't, he just didn't look right. So I went and changed it and drew a whole new head and he is based off Idris Elba because, well Idris Elba, Idris Elba, because he is hot as heck. <laughs> And I just realized his, I, the idea of him being the beast would be really cool. Um, yeah, and I thought he looked really good in here. He looks very inviting. Whereas Dan Stevens looks less inviting. <laughs> um, but I thought I'd change that up just because I feel like it is important to draw different, you know, like the hair and the facial features, they're going to be different. So we shouldn't celebrate that. And, try and incorporate that more into my drawing. It's not always possible with time limits and just, it does take a lot to do that, but I thought it was worthwhile in this, um, in this set because he is a, an important character. And then I love the double box here. The toolbox is the, um, for like full castle, so you can get really at the effect. They're also cool. And then she used all the like, um, Baroque patterns which I love. Yeah, yeah, these are like different colors again, which I really love. Ugh. And then they have the gold glitter throughout. This set would be really good with that matte bronze. I know. Like it's, so it's not like as in your face as gold, even though there's a lot of gold <laughs> in Rococo, obviously they love gold. But if you wanted to like dim that a bit because we're not as not like into gold as they were. Um, then you could bring in that matte bronze. This is like all of their Baroque patterns, which looks so cool. And you have like the sort of marbly tile effect in the bottom. Oh, she. But yes, that is all the kits. I oh my god, look at that <laughs> from SBC. I'm gonna quickly go through the April mystery, which I am sure everyone has seen by now. But yeah, let's get into it, and then we'll finish up. So, I always get the ultimate, it has all the freebies and things that you want, uh, obviously the mini kit is less expensive, but the April Mystery, here it is in all her glory. Okay, so I was planning out the Rococo set, it was before I drew the Bell set, but I was talking about like, I love historical stuff, and, <laughs> and Andrew was like, oh, I saw this like really cool photos of, um, of like Victorian Edwardian Disney princesses and I'm like oh I love Edwardian well Victorian slash Edwardian so we went more with Edwardian in this so this is after Victoria has passed and so you're into like the new <laughs> um, era but I love that kind of like aesthetic and the outfits and so we we're like Edwardian tea party with a Disney twist wouldn't that be fun so that's what we did. And I think it turned out super duper pretty. I have like the English garden here, with like a little tea party. And um, obviously you have some Disney princesses. So this one's Rapunzel. <laughs> and I think she turned out so perfect. She was probably my favorite. So I'm glad she's like in the main part. And then you do have like the little symbols in the little cups. So you got like Tiana with the lily, the sun with um, Rapunzel, the little shell from Ariel and the little rose for with the little falling rose petal for Belle. You know, like the high tea, and I love these, the tea set. I spent a long time decorating them with these beautiful bow patterns, which I thought would be perfect for more of a Disney tea rather than actual Edwardian. Um, like the pearl necklace and a brooch. This girl's like an extra fashion girl, so she's like literally just a random Edwardian woman, but she is based off a real photo um, of a woman, of a woman in that time, um, but I think her whole outfit is white, because um, you know, they wore a lot of white back then. <laughs> I love this hand, like um, pouring the tea. I think this looks so cute, with all the delicious goodness in the high tea, and then this pug, which Andre was like, it looks like he's taken the bag, and that's his bag now. And these are his macarons <laughs> in the jar, and the pug actually. So the custom. Um, list that the mood board said so just a dog with a ruff and obviously the ruff is more um, like Shakespearean you know um, Elizabethan kind of look but you know 
You can be anachronistic. There could be people in Wardian time who love that look. <laughs> uh, like how we like old fashioned. And I was like, oh, what's a dog with a ruff? Like, could I make this Disney? And I remembered, and this is also another time period, not Edwardian, but in Pocahontas, you have little Percy, the little pug, and how he wears like a cute little collar. And at one point he does wear a ruff, I believe. Um, so I did it as little Percy, which is why he has like this specific coloring. And he is a pug because of Percy from Pocahontas. Things Percy, you know, um, the villain's dog. <laughs> um, so that's why I drew him. Why he looks like that. So I think he looks cute. And then, oh, this is like super bright and summery. I think it was definitely for like a late spring, summer kind of set. Um, summer outside, um, having some nice goodies and tea. And then we have in the toolbox, we have a bell. So this is obviously a very different version of Rococo Belle, but she is actually reading um, La Belle at La Bête. Is that what it's called? The French version of Beauty and the Beast, obviously title. So she's kind of reading her own book, which is funny. Maybe she read, her, she wrote her story herself. That's kind of cool. But yeah, so that's like Belle in the Edwardian outfit. And you have a whole bunch of goodies in the deco. You've got like this big Edwardian hat, which is like covered in flowers, which must have been so heavy. And then, which is based off a real advertisement that I found. Um, and then we have like the feather, um, uh, <laughs> feather fan. Why am I making fart noises? Oh God. Okay. I like the pretty umbrella. Yeah. I just thought it was really pretty. And then we have like, um, the sort of like soft um, painterly uh, little flower pattern throughout and you have the, like, the blue on the bottom which is fun kind of balances out the colors and look we can um, color block although I wish it was two purples over two greens but maybe less purple will be better for me because I put purple in everything <laughs> so okay two green columns that's all right that'll be fun and then the freebies that included we got the um, Disney Doodles, in case you wanted to make it into a proper Disney set, like you're going to the parks or something like that. Um, just for a different something something if you don't actually like Disney park sets or anything like that. And then you have the label sample and the extra blue color that you can bring in. And then we have more princesses, so obviously we have Tiana and she has like the little leaf um, brooch and just looking so cute and like the little... Um, lotus lilies on the top and they have ariel which i was gonna make her outfit oh this went really bright all of a sudden sorry about that um <laughs> super sunny all of a sudden um but yes ariel i was gonna make her she was supposed to be some more this green but i already used that green with tiana and i was gonna make her pink because you know i do love her pink dress in the film but it didn't look great with the shade of red I was using. So I went with a current green color. So this was completely out of like, it wasn't given to me by Andrea, the color. <laughs> I kind of went rogue. <laughs> I was like, can I use this green instead for Ariel? And then it makes her a bit more Ariel, I think. Um, and the pink was just a lot <laughs> in the outfit. I did try, but... I think using her green does level out with her hair a lot better. And obviously I put a dingle hopper and the shell. <laughs> Just so you know, it's, it's Ariel. And they have like some different skin tones of these boxes. I have yet to use these pattern boxes yet. I'm so excited. And the bottom washi. But yes, that was the um, set. And then we got a holo um, twinkle bundle. So it's in the twinkle design in holo. I think it's just how bright and colorful it is. I think hollow will work really well. But obviously you can use any foil you want. These bundles are so good just to have on hand and bring them into other stuff, which I have in the past. Um, but I am losing my voice. And I think you probably listened to me prattling on long enough. So that was my haul. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more. I do a big haul every month and you can listen to my rants about my art every month. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but otherwise, I hope you liked it. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!